Endoscopic spine surgery is a departure from the traditional way that spine surgery is performed. It involves inserting a camera in through the skin via approximately an eight millimeter incision, less than a centimeter. And rather than opening up the spine to do the work, it involves inserting that camera down to the spine where you can directly visualize the problem and then access it through a series of micro instruments. After you remove the camera at the end of the procedure, the patients get one stitch under the skin and basically a glorified Band-Aid and go home the same day. Endoscopic spine surgery is applicable to a wide variety of problems, and so um, it's mostly people who have compression of their nerves. So whether that's from a disc herniation or arthritis and bone spurs, it's really a tool that can be used to decompress or take pressure off of nerves. The way that that manifests is usually with sciatica or pain running down the legs. From the young patient with a soft disc herniation to the older patient with arthritis and more chronic issues, both of these things are able to be addressed with endoscopic techniques. There's a whole spectrum of surgical techniques from the traditional spine surgery which involved a open incision and, and really removing the soft tissues in order to directly see the spine to minimally invasive techniques which involved less muscle damage but still an, an open incision or at least a, a smaller but still open incision um, with less damage to the spine and, and the surrounding soft tissues. And then the next iteration is what's called endoscopic surgery or is often being called ultra minimally invasive surgery um, which uses a camera through an extremely small incision. The, the surgery rather than looking directly into the patient's body involves looking on a screen. And, and by making that leap to using a camera rather than looking with your eyes or looking with a microscope, it allows for even smaller incisions, less tissue damage, and quicker recovery. So typically patients go home the same day after surgery within a few hours. Um, very little pain medication is necessary after a surgery like this. In fact, I often have patients just take Tylenol, so no narcotics. I'm totally okay with them walking as much as they want, even the day of surgery. They can elliptical, they can stationary bike, so they can certainly be active as soon as they feel comfortable doing so. And I had a lady recently who told me she was at the gym on the elliptical less than 24 hours after her spine surgery, which was pretty incredible. Beyond smaller incisions, quicker recovery, and less soft tissue damage, the beauty of endoscopic techniques is they allow for surgeons like myself to access areas of the spine that previously would have required a fusion surgery. And so on multiple occasions now, I've done outpatient endoscopic non-fusion surgeries on people who otherwise would have required a fusion. The problem with fusion is it involves additional surgery, it takes longer, oftentimes involves a more protracted recovery, and eliminates motion at that level. The beauty of an endoscopic decompression, which is not fusion, is that patients get up, they get moving, and they don't lose any of the motion that they had.